So sad versus bad, all disease is sad and bad, but this is a newer talk for me. So I want to thank uh, Miguel Montero Baker and Roberto Ferraci for uh, a lot of this content. Um, so <clears throat> what is sad and what is bad? Basically sad is small artery disease, bad is big artery disease. Um, and when you look back, 1985 paper by Michael DeBakey, when he described a, a atherosclerotic plaque, both in the heart and the vascular system, uh, most of the plaque was usually in the article in the proximal, mid-proximal portions of the arterial bed. Uh, but again, over time, you know, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, an aging population, the baby boomers, uh, as you go forward and you look at, you know, papers in the early 2000s of disease patterns, we started seeing disease move more distally. And as again, with the explosion of diabetes, you see that the diabetic patients are typically a lot of times isolated into the tibial vessels, right? And they are a big population of chronic uh, limb ischemia, critical limb ischemia patients. Uh, and again, uh, this is a paper, um, I think it was out of Italy, yep, out of Italy, uh, showing critical limb ischemia in diabetic patients and describing all this tibial disease. But what's absent, even in these papers, is the pedal vessels and the drawings, right? Nobody's really categorized pedal anatomy or, or risk factors in that sense. So again, with the explosion of diabetic, uh, diabetic cases, as well as chronic kidney disease in an aging population, we see it all the time, right? Uh, medial artery calcification, heavy calcium, making access and everything else we do much, much more difficult. Now, medial arter arterial calcification uh, used to be thought of as a separate non-atherosclerotic uh, entity compared to SAD. But in, in the last, I would say, five, to, you know, five years or so, it's really become sort of apparent that this is the same disease process. Uh, it just, you know, MAC is, we see it all over, and SAD is down in the foot. And they're both strong markers for major adverse cardiovascular events and major adverse limb events. And so there is this novel scoring system. It's pretty simple, but it's also very subjective at times. So a SAD score. Uh, but it's difficult because I'll show you, um, like these cases here, sometimes you can underfill uh, and the vessels look smaller than they really are. Uh, patients have to really stay still. You have to have a good imaging system. There can be spasm, and it depends on where you're injecting from. So the question is, is it really a desert foot or is it just underfilled, hibernating uh, vessels? So here's a, uh, you know, from Dr. Faraci's, um article, uh, no SAD, so again, the distal vessels appearing fairly healthy and still there, as opposed to moderate SAD, which is a score of one, and then severe SAD, a uh, score of two. And again, here's another example, zero, one, and two. On the left, it's really what we, they call, you know, big artery disease, or uh, sometimes big foot artery disease, uh, where the runoff is still fairly reasonable, as you see in those plantar um, digital vessels. Uh, and then again, more diffuse disease and then absent disease, absent vessels in the forefoot, leading to, you know, presentations like this where there's no disease almost below, you know, until you get to below ankle. Um, now, when you look at the examples here of uh, sad patients, uh, when you look at a plain radiograph, you see a lot of MAC, right? Um, and you can see the correlation between the small artery disease and what you see when there's no digital subtraction. And there is a pedal max score as well. And when you look at, uh, you know, it's a little bit easier to replicate. Um, Inter-observer uh, uh, reproduction is, is very reliable. And uh, you basically look at these segments and you, you answer, you know, is there more than two centimeters in some of these or one centimeter of calcium? You add it up and then there's sort of three categories of, you know, low MAC, moderate MAC, or severe MAC. Now, what does it mean? So MAC scores and SAD scores in a study done by Dr. Faraci uh, showed very good correlation uh, and so, again, uh, led to the conclusion that this is really the same disease. Um, now, why is it important and what can we do about it? So it is important because if you look at this odds ratio of having critical limb ischemia, you can see that as you move down, one of the most powerful uh, predictors of critical limb ischemia is any below ankle or arch disease. You can see the odds ratio of over 13. And you see that pedal artery calcification, especially this pedal max score, is, correlates very well with major amputation, uh, better than some of the other things like diabetic status, glass uh, status, and Wi-Fi staging. 
So what can we do about it? I mean, the good news is, uh, you know, as, as Dr. Q, I saw Dr. Kuhn is on the, uh, uh, the agenda for later today, but uh, deep venous arterialization now is an option for th these patients that we call no option patients and desert foot patients. So again, no, sort of the normal protocol of, you know, is the patient a candidate for revascularization? Is the foot salvageable? And then is there a target vessel? If there's a target vessel, then the patient has other options, right? Like conventional endovascular revascularization, as we saw here, or distal bypass options. But if there's no uh, distal vessel, as that, that's a good target because of SAD, uh, then the question is, is percutaneous DVA or TADV is the term we're using now, uh, is that feasible? And if so, then that's a potential option for these patients that we typically historically have called no option uh, patients. All right, so SAD disease, again, is something that really um, we're seeing more and more in our uh, daily practices because of the prevalence of diabetes, chronic kidney disease, and an aging population. It's a strong predictor of poor outcomes. These are the patients that we see the white stop signs and, you know, the, these kind of things. Um, MAC and SAD appear to be the same disease process. And again, luckily, we're, we're getting more options such as uh, DVA for these patients. Thank you.